ओके गाइस वी वर फेसिंग सम इश्यूज विथ विथ द इनवाइट बटन होपफुली दैट्स रिजॉल्व नाउ एंड लेट्स वेट फॉर अ मिनट बिफोर वी सेंड एन इनविटेशन टू मार्कस सो या प्लीज ज्वाइन इन लेट्स स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग अप सब क्वेश्चन फॉर हेम ओके सो He is joining us now. Oh, <laughs> good to see you, mate. Finally. Hi, hi, guys. How are you? Ah, uh, doing well, doing well, Marcus. Uh, I I think there was some challenge uh, sending a request, but yeah, we have got it figured out. You're here, and Bro, yeah, what? I mean, I'll yeah, I'll have to reintroduce you. <laughs> so, guys, like I was saying, uh. one of the most fun loving person you will ever meet he is a crazy entertainer of the field on the field all of you have seen he has bowled a lot of crucial spells played some incredible innings and off late i mean you have set the bbl on fire man mm, thanks you've been on a roll it's been good fun okay marcus so yeah man uh, for us as well so uh, how's it going man how are things back in australia Yeah, look, um I think we're pretty lucky over here in Australia. It's obviously um serious all over the world and and we're taking it very seriously here, but um I mean, I'm in Perth at the moment. Uh so we're quite isolated as a city. Um but it's it's also quite strict over here. Everyone's in lockdown. Um I mean, you're allowed to go out for a walk and and that sort of stuff and um a little bit of a run and exercise, but uh apart from that, it's pretty much make sure you stay home. Right. Uh, I, your friend has joined us, uh, Yuzvendra Chahal. So we just shouted out <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> of course he has. He's yeah, always so, watching these things. Yeah, man, he's quite active <laughs> and entertaining as well. Yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, Marcus, uh, what 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 have you been up to lately? I mean, uh, what are the things you are doing during this lockdown period? <clears throat> um I've still been training. Uh that's what I've been doing. Not not much uh cricket specific, but um I've still been running and uh a bit of gym and that sort of thing. So we've um I've got a bit of equipment at my home that I've set up um to help myself keep going. And uh the routine at the moment is I wake up, go and go and jump in the ocean, um do a run, do some gym, and then um probably watch a movie or something. That's pretty much it. while it's disappointing that you know uh, cricket is not happening these days but on the positive side you get to spend a lot of time with your families so how's that going for you yeah it's a big positive i mean um the 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 downside of getting better and better as as a cricketer is you spend more and more time away from home um and i think uh it's probably <clears throat> uh, as bad as it is that the the perk of it i guess or the the things you can take away is you get to spend time at home um get to stay close to your loved ones um and probably just slow down a little bit and and not get caught up in in the cricket life or in everyone whatever whatever work you do so um that's definitely the positive a lot of us have been engaging in some household work work lately you know someone is washing utensils cleaning the floor what has marcus stone is being up to oh uh, i wish i could say a lot but not too much i actually um <laughs> I was at mum's the other day and um and I did the washing uh washing of the dishes and that sort of stuff which is surprising to a lot of people uh but then she messaged my sister and said she, mum wasn't home she was out uh, she'd gone for a walk so she messaged my sister when she got home saying well done tash thanks for doing all the washing and so my t- sister took the credit for it but that was actually me <laughs> and that's the only thing I've done nice. so that's and- why she didn't expect it to be me Tried your hands at cooking. Cooking, I can I can fry eggs, I can scramble eggs, I can boil eggs, and I'm going to learn how to poach eggs soon. That's about as that's that's as good as I've gotten. <laughs> not bad, man. Not bad. Not bad. A- a- any playlist? A- any playlist you have been uh, hooked to? Ah, uh, what have I been? I've been listening to a lot of Drake. Um, he's probably my favourite, so I listen to a lot of him, um, and going through a few old songs and that sort of stuff. But uh, what else? maybe binging on something uh tv series or something uh what i did start watching was peaky blinders so that's a bit of an old one okay. but uh, well not old but i've i've yeah. um i've gotten right into that at the moment 
yeah it's it's on my list too hopefully mm. very soon okay so uh, you have told us how you are staying fit and everything uh, hopefully the situation gets better very soon okay uh, marcus so let's get to some cricket related questions yeah. you're up for it okay just a moment all right then we have put up a nice graphic for you here we go okay uh, <laughs> okay marcus so uh, firstly like you have a greek background but you grew up in perth right yeah that's right uh, yeah yeah tell us a little bit about how your cricket journey started oh my cricket journey was probably similar to most most young kids um initially the only reason i started playing i remember i was in year 2 at school and um all my all my mates were talking about starting a cricket team down at scabra cricket club which was my local local park um and the the only reason i started playing was to play play cricket with my mates um and then from there that's when you fall in love with the game but i think that's also something that you got to make sure you keep enjoying well wow. and uh who are your heroes growing up because australian cricket has seen i mean plenty of legends right yep definitely um look and i'm not saying this cuz he's the coach but ricky ponting my god he's been a hero of mine for a long time we'll punt us so um him uh matthew hayden was probably um the guy i wanted to bat like the most uh when i was growing up um i've seen seen a lot of lot of adam zamp comments down here so yes i miss him yeah. i love him yeah i love zorby i wish he That's was watching what caught my attention there he is he's on there yes <laughs> yeah he's he's saying call me big puppy call me big puppy hey big puppy <laughs> and uh, Ch- chehel is asking who do you want to get locked down with with zampa or with chehel oh my two favorite leg spinners in the whole world ah oh, i'll take both of you i'll take both of you and uh, david warner is saying please get a haircut please get a haircut i know i'm just growing it out so that i can <laughs> shave it off i'm going to do something for you david don't worry about that i might not shave it but i might do something rude <laughs> okay so uh, i'm going to pull up a picture now okay and uh, yeah. we're going to talk about that picture just a moment let, let me see if it's around uh <laughs> tidy <Davey. laughs> <laughs> okay uh, just a minute i i'm i'm struggling with it so i'll just show you on my tab there is obi here we go you remember this one yes is that yeah obviously uh that's in new zealand yeah So so what are the memories of that Um I mean I'll I'll ask you a question okay Yeah Yeah so you guys were chasing a big target you came in at 7 scored about 146 and were batting with Josh the last wicket partnership roughly 54 out of which you scored 54 What was your reaction when Josh Hazelwood got run out Oh, initially, um, yeah. Well, we didn't know that was the first time we'd spoken about. Um, I remember before that ball, I said we we only needed. I think we needed seven to win. Um, and the idea, if everything went to plan, was to uh, hit hit a six and then let Josh hit the winning runs. Um, but unfortunately, that didn't work out. So. Um, I mean it was so much chaos there was so so much we rode our luck quite a lot there a few run out opportunities and all that sort of thing so um I mean disappointing but it's uh probably one of the best games of my career so you take it I I I'll also get to a serious question uh David has been asking if you're getting enough sun your complexion is amazing <laughs> <laughs> This is all natural as well this this tan is all natural Okay so so Marcus uh, on on a serious note you know uh, talk us through that inning because uh, even though you ended up on a losing side you were man of the match and it it doesn't happen very often that a player from a losing side gets man of the match so so how was that inning i believe it was just your second uh, match for australia yeah it was my second match it was a long time ago now um i mean it's it's it was my second match for australia so to do that and to sort of um at that stage of your career you're not sure if you're going to be able to stand up to 
to international cricket and that sort of thing. There's there's obviously doubts and, and other people's doubts and all that sort of stuff. No, I didn't get a perm, Davey. This is my natural curls. It's what happens <laughs> my hair gets long. Look at it. How good is it? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, so there's all, all those sort of doubts. So obviously it's very rewarding. Um, but, yeah, it was a long time ago now, so I wouldn't mind that happening again soon. Okay. Uh, 2019... Uh... Cricket Australia player of the ODI player of the year, right? So was that one of the achievements you're most proud about? Yeah, it's a big, um, that was a big personal achievement uh, for me. Uh, again, like I said, when you, when you first start international cricket, you're not sure um, how, you, how you're going to go. There's obviously a lot of doubts. Um, so, I mean, to, it's something that I'll... Uh, be able to hopefully one day tell the kids and all that sort of stuff about um and it's a nice personal thing but uh again it's just it is what it is now uh, uh, david is up with a lot of questions for you man <laughs> <Is he> <laughs> okay uh marcus while we talk about the next thing i just want to show you a picture you remember this very well right yes yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, loves so that here's one. the question. Oh, nice. Okay. So we have seen you predominantly as a middle order batsman and a medium fast bowler. Fast, fast. But Come on, fast, fa fast. Fa okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Fast. Give it, so yeah, give for me Melbourne. <laughs> okay. Fast bowler. Okay. For Melbourne stars, you started opening the innings, and since then you have top scores for stars each season. How did that move come about? Um, the move came about from persistence from me badgering the coach, Stephen Fleming, to let me get up the order. Um, because I tell you what, batting in the middle order is bloody hard. And that's what makes someone like Glenn Maxwell so bloody good. Um, but yeah, batting in the middle is hard and, and it's, it's hard at the top too. But I'll tell you what, it's, it's, it's much easier having more people in the ring than it is on the boundary. Um, but one of my philosophies is persistence beats resistance. And I persisted to annoy our coach to let him let me open the batting. So I got there eventually. Wow. So so that translated to a few things, right? You smashed all records. Over 700 runs in last BBL top scoring, like all-time top scorer. So uh, tell us about that season, man. How, how, what, how, everything went well for you. Yeah, I, th I guess... Um... I guess when you're on a on a roll in a tournament and uh, and you start a tournament well, it's 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 much easier to to keep that going. Um, so that was a big focus that I had last year. Um, but I mean, outside of that, it's it's. I think maybe I'm getting a bit older now. I'm I'm 30, um, but we'll tell the owners that I'm about 27. Um, <laughs> so I'm starting to know my game a little bit more. Uh, we had such a great team in terms of the vibe and the energy around the group and everyone was so relaxed and everyone trusted each other a lot. So um, the environment you create in a team, I think also goes a long way to helping individuals perform. Right. Uh, okay. I, I want to read out a quote, Marcus, and I want your reaction to that. The quote is, if I were a selector, Stoinis would be playing all three formats. Your Melbourne stars coach, David Hussey, and many Australian fans and cricket fans share the same opinion. So, you have proven your abilities with white ball and we would want to know if you get a chance to prove yourself with the baggy green on, wouldn't you? Oh, well, I'd love that. That'd be, that'd be the, um, it's the pinnacle in my eyes. Um, obviously, every Australian and every cricketer grows up wanting to play for their country and play test cricket for their country. So, um, I mean, hopefully this year's the year. We'll see. Um, we'll get uh, Davey to talk to... Um, the coach Justin Langer and maybe see if he could pull some strings um, uh, but we'll, yeah so obviously that's, that's the number one dream but um, yeah we'll just you just got to keep going and uh, and your fate is in the selectors hands I guess right man so uh, you have also played for the Delhi franchise before and now you're back playing with us uh, what has been your experience playing the IPL and how is it different from the BBL yeah, obviously I was uh, I was with Delhi in my first ever year of, of IPL. Um, the coach was Gary Kirsten, who was a legend and a great person. 
Um, so I had a great time with him. Um, and then, yeah, so the IPL, it's, it's, uh, I've been to a few now. Um, and the energy of the crowds, the passion of the supporters, the um, camaraderie of the team, I think it's such a unique opportunity and we're very lucky that we get to play with uh, the best players from around the world. I mean, uh, obviously, Big Bash is similar. Um, but, I mean, the fact that you get to play with, there's there could be up to six, seven, eight, overseas players in the squad um, and then obviously the Indian, Indian superstars that, that don't get the opportunity to play in the BBL, you get the opportunity when you get over the IPL to hang out with those guys and learn from them and, and, and that sort of thing. So um, look, they're, they're the two, in my opinion, the two strongest um, 2020 tournaments in the world. Uh, right. But very hard to compare them in terms of I mean, I've played in front of 85,000 at the MCG, but I've played in, some, in front of some big crowds at the IPL and uh, it feels like there's about 250,000 fans sitting in the stadium when you're in India. Yeah. True. They're really loud. They, they love it. Yeah. So, uh, during the auction when you were watching, were you watching the auction live or following up just on your phone? Uh, I wasn't sure what, what's taking Davey talking about is he talking about our wicket oh, we got a great wicket at Delhi Davey get out of here um, I was I was keeping up to date with the auction live on Twitter um, but I had a game the next day and I got passed in in the first round and so I went to bed and I was nervous I thought Jesus here we go maybe I'm not going this year um, but then I got woken up at about 4am with a with a few messages and some congratulations and that sort of stuff and a message from Ricky. So uh, obviously it all worked out and, um, and I ended up back where I, where I started at Delhi. Wow. Fabulous. Uh, you'll also see some familiar faces, right? Alex Carey is there, your Australian teammate. You have Sandeep Lamichani. You've been playing with Sandy a lot. Yep. And Ricky Ponting, James Hopes. So a lot of familiar faces. Uh, yes, Shreyas, I, Shreyas, I was there with Shreyas when I think it was probably our first, uh, when I was at Delhi, he was at Delhi. I think that was his first year as well. So, um, yeah, there's a few familiar faces. Yeah. He has also grown a lot as a player since then, right? Hasn't he? He's Your become a very, him? very good player and a, um, and a good leader. He's, he's taken on a lot of responsibility, obviously, with, with IPL, but then playing for India as well. Um, really exciting for him. Right. Okay. So, uh, moving on, I'm going to try and show you some more pictures. Okay. And uh, let's see how it goes. So, the picture has a code card. Okay. I, I would want you to read the code. Okay. I don't know if I can see it on here, unfortunately. Okay. So, no, I, okay, can't, I, so can't, I can't make it out on here. Okay. So, the quote is, oh, it's tough to describe they are just they are just so close they are a little bit too close at times aren't they every photo they are holding hands and doing weird shit so this is aaron finch <laughs> this is finchy too close what's too yeah. close and is there a picture of ricky ponding holding our hand as well sure uh, maybe i I'll, I'll have to look for that i've got it don't worry i've got it um so so what are the most hilarious moments you have uh, shared with uh, Adam Zampa? Um, <laughs> I guess most of them people know now, but uh, what's something? Oh, so here's something weird. So I don't know if Dave is still online, but I've got these, <laughs> these weird goggles that I wear um, that flash uh, and they sort of, they, they black out your vision and then they come back. So it's, it's for like reflex, uh, reflective, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Reflexes and all that sort of stuff. Reflex exercises, throwing balls on the wall, doing that sort of stuff. Anyway, end of the game, I come into the change rooms. Zamps is standing on his pads as if they're skis. He's got two bats in his hand as if they're skis. Like, <laughs> and then he's got my glasses <laughs> flashing in and out. And he's got his hat on backwards and he's pretending like he's skiing down a slope. And my God, it's, it's, look, that's just a little thing, but it's one of those a day for a whole tour and, um, and you'll fall in love with him. Oh, 
<laughs> hey, Dave, Dave, I love them. We all love them, Dave. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, uh, Marcus, we uh, saw a sneak peek of the Love Cafe on the test. A uh, lot of our players, uh, sorry, a lot of our fans haven't seen it. So can you just uh, tell us a bit more about that to have someone in your team you can switch off with uh, while you're on tour, not talk cricket? Yes, that's pretty much all it is. So the Love Cafe um, will have a little section where we're allowed to talk cricket. And then as soon as, as soon as Zamps makes his coffee, that's when we stop and we switch into something else. So it's just, a, it's just almost our morning routine where we switch off, talk our own little bit of garbage. Um, what's this? What's Davey talking about now? Anyway, um, but yeah, no, look, it's just uh, our way, our little escape. When you're on tours, you're away for a long time and, and he's like uh, he's like family to me. So it's good to have someone like that around. That's great. Uh, so, uh, Marcus, so we've been uh, following you on Twitter. We know what you have been up to lately. Uh, we wanted to show a video. I'm unable to pull it out over here. So can you talk a bit about what's happening with Scotty James, uh, Danny Ricciardo, what's happening with them? Yeah, so it's a bit of chaos. I'm sorry for the amount of garbage I've been putting out on social media. It's more than usual. Um, but what's been going on? So Daniel obviously is a Formula One driver and Scotty is uh, the number one in the world at, uh, at snowboarding. Um, he's an absolute superstar. Uh, but yeah, we've, we've known each other for a while um, and we just thought while, while everyone's um, quarantined and while everyone's stuck inside and doing the right thing, we'd, we'd try and bring a bit of energy and a bit of light and a bit of humour. Um, also, not take ourselves too seriously and then put ourselves out there a little bit and, and just let everyone have a laugh pretty much at our expense most of the time. So, how, how did it begin? Whose idea was this to start off with? Uh, well, we're all talking. We've got a little group chat and we said that um, with what's going on, we should get together and do something. Um, and we had a few ideas. This is the first one. Um, so hopefully it leads to a few other things that we're going to do together. And, um, but yeah, so between all of us, we just thought it was a good idea to get together. And, and it's also interesting to do it as, as cross codes, not all, not all in the same, in the same thing and, uh, and get the fan base crossed over and get people understanding that we're, we're proper human beings as well and can be a bit, uh, a bit silly sometimes. So uh, I would recommend you throw out a challenge to some Delhi Capitals fans also next time you. Why you not? And I'm, I'm open to all suggestions as well. So you can, you can flood my inbox. And if you've got some good suggestions, then I'm, uh, you, I might, might be able to use them. <laughs> Maybe a challenge for David. I'm going to get Davey. Don't worry about that. Because I know, don't worry, Davey. I know you've got me to shave my head. I've seen it. I haven't done it yet, but I will do something similar. Okay, so Marcus, I'm going to show you a few pictures now, uh, and I just want your reaction. I want you to talk about. Hey, them. Benny Pereira, by the way. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Go on. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that was a rough haircut. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. The whole I get carried away. I, I take one wicket and I get carried away. So, where have all these nicknames come from? You know, the Hulk, Stoin, and you've got a few more if you could tell us about them. Oh, I don't know. The boys think I come up with my own nicknames, like the Hulk and all that sort of stuff. But no, nah, <laughs> look, I guess um, I guess that started when I started getting too carried away when I take a wicket. Um, so, that's one of them, obviously. Um, Davey loves my rig, loves my body. He knows I train hard, so calls me the oil rig and the yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Yes. Um, yeah, I don't know. What else have we got? Stoiny, Stoiness, that's easy. Big Papa, that was uh yeah. that was Zamps. Zamp started up Big Papa. Papa Stoin. Um, just all affectionate names I guess. That's McGorgeous. Cool, so okay. M McGorgeous. I just saw that down there. <laughs> okay. I, I think some new names are also coming in. Yeah, we'll get them. Okay, mo moving on to the second picture. Uh, I think uh, you will have some good memories of it. You had a good laugh after this. Yeah, this is when Kane was getting stuck into me after he took a wicket. Yeah, that was his first wicket in a while as well. So I think he was pretty excited. 
but no, he's, he's a good man. So uh, he's always got a bit of banter for me on the field. All right. Uh, next pitcher is really special. Is that Ricky? Yes. Ah, there it is. Do you know what my favourite part about Ricky's smile is? That he loses yeah. his eyes. I do. His, his eyes go. <laughs> ah, it's a beautiful smile, Ricky. Good on you, Rick. I miss him. I'm looking forward to seeing him. And we have got one more. Another guy who has got a great smile. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't smile as much as Ricky, but he's he's got a good smile. He should yeah. smile more. Okay. Uh, let us see if there are more photos. I think we're done with the photos, Marcus. We've got a rapid fire for you. Okay, rapid fire. Yeah. Shrink. Just a minute. <laughs> Just a moment. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, likes or dislikes, okay? Do okay, like so I just, I'll just dislike tell you it? if I like Okay, easy. Okay, workouts. Yeah, I like it. Love it. Vegemite. Love Vegemite. How do you pronounce it? Yeah, Vegemite, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yep. Samosas. Dislike. Dislike. Okay. Uh, we are not going to let him go, Dave. Fielding drills? <laughs> Sorry? Fielding drills. I don't, fielding mind drills. Field, I don't mind fielding drills. I actually don't mind them. Tadamo. <laughs> look at this. Look at this guy just riding duck on my on this thing. <laughs> Grow up. These are my mates. These are my mates. Butter chicken. Feel free to answer them. Butter chicken. Who needs, who needs enemies when you've got mates like this giving giving getting stuck in you? Look, quack, big duck. Good on him. Look at him. <laughs> um, what, where, what else were we at? Butter chicken? Yeah, I love a butter chicken. I'm around butter chicken. Do you know who loves butter chicken? My trainer. My trainer and my uh, my actual mentor, Dade Tade, who's, who's right in here. And he's actually calling me a duck right now. So it's not very nice for my mentor to be calling me a duck. That just shows what type of company I keep. But uh, maybe I should get rid of him. Okay, uh, last two, three. Yeah. Spinners. Spinners. Yeah, I eat them for breakfast. Opening the batting. Yeah, I love it. Kiwis. TV. Kiwis. Kiwi. New Zealanders. New centers. Kiwi. I can't even hear Kiwi. I can't, I can't <laughs> hear you, sorry. Okay, next one. Bomb. Forms. I can't. Sorry, I've lost you on here. You, you can you hear me now? Yeah, I've got you. Yeah. Yeah. So I was asking likes or dislikes kiwis. Oh, the kiwis. Um, actually, yeah, most of them are very good. Unfortunately, I'd like to say no, but no, they're they're very good people. Uh, what about palms? The palms are the same. I don't want to like them. I actually don't want to like him, but like I, I lived with Sam Billings for a while. Love him. Great person. Family. Beautiful. So I think most of the poms are good. So, uh, Marcus, the next segment is where we get to know you better. Okay? Okay. Very simple questions. The first question is, your top three movies of all time. Top three movies. One of them is definitely Gold Member. Uh, James Bond, I watched him. Watched it last night. Beautiful movie. Um, second one is a new one called The Gentleman. I love that. And the third one, have you seen Austin Powers? No. Oh, Austin Powers. That's a that's a beauty. Oh, and Super Bad. Sorry, Super Bad's a, a genuine cracker. What's your favorite dish? Uh, Peking duck. Okay. <laughs> Top three favorite shows of all time. Um, Sushi Mango is number one. Okay. Uh, I'm enjoying Peaky Blinders. And um, someone just wrote Made in Manhattan on here as well. But that's that's a movie. But I'll put that up there. 
Okay. Uh, David has some good comments down there if you would want to check out. <laughs> Can I check these? Biryani. Yeah, we love a biryani. <laughs> okay. Uh, your favorite Indian dish, biryani or butter chicken? I don't eat much rice, so we're going to go butter chicken. Okay. Uh, favorite performance of your career? Um, it would be New Zealand, for sure. Favorite football team? Well, we're going to talk AFL here, so West Coast Eagles. But if it's not that, if we're talking soccer, which, soccer, football, then I'll go Liverpool. Okay. And last one on this is perfect retirement plan. Perfect retirement plan. I just want to be on holidays for as long as I can. So hopefully just be sailing around Europe somewhere, maybe drop into LA for a little bit. You know, maybe do a bit of coaching like Ricky Ponting does, you know, just slide in for IPL and that sort of stuff. That sounds pretty good. Okay. Uh, we want to sneak in one bonus question over here. Okay. If, if your biopic was made, which actor would play you? <laughs> Probably Nick Giannopoulos. Have you heard of Nick Giannopoulos? Yeah. Yes, the great Greek actor. And okay, uh, who would play Adam Zampa? <laughs> <laughs> who would play Adam Sa Adam Zampa? Um, Owen Wilson. Do you know? Is that his name? Owen Wilson. Do you know that guy? I'll probably have to check nose? him. No. no. Anyway. He's a little blonde guy, got beautiful blonde hair like Zams. Or Brad Pitt. He, Brad Pitt yeah. can, be, can be Zams. Okay, so uh, we'll take some questions from our fans uh, before we close this session. <laughs> so I'm just checking out. Okay. Uh, please say hi to Sar. Hello. Oh my God. I mean, uh, you know who has. Jose, you know my favorite song. Night. Sorry, what was this? Yeah, I, I'm saying I know who has sent out maximum messages over here. I'm just trying to <laughs> scroll through. What is Tintin? Sorry? What is Tintin? David is writing Tintin. What is Tintin? Yeah. I don't know. What is Tintin? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what David's talking about. Okay, so I, I'm just trying to scroll some uh, questions. Someone is Googling things. Hyderabadi biryani. Mo mostly people are writing about food. Mostly about food. Yeah, and a lot of them are joining uh, Dave. All okay, about the Hulk David set and... modeling. Thanks, guys. Yeah. A lot of them. Lot of messages. <laughs> Love you, Marcus. <laughs> Someone is writing his name is not Marcus. What is my name? <laughs> Maybe we'll ask them. You want to check out some uh, comments before we close this? If you want to answer something. Um... World Cup or Ashes win? Well, look, I'd like a World Cup, but that's just me, I guess. That's not meant to be disrespectful. Robbie okay. Thompson is, talk is talking about Mykonos here, one of the great Greek islands. I'll definitely be back there soon. What else okay, have we got? Great, then. I... I, I... City of India. Do you play cricket? Does Zampa make a good coffee? Zampa makes a beautiful coffee. I actually think he should open up a coffee store. The Love Cafe. He needs to do it. Uh, a lot of fans are writing, we are crazy to see you in DC Jersey very soon. Yeah, I can't wait. I hope um, hope it all gets, gets going soon and obviously everything sorts out around the world because uh, I'd love to be playing for Delhi. Uh, so, uh, Marcus, you want to end this with uh, giving out a message to our fans who tuned in to watch you and asked you a lot of questions. We can end on that note. Okay, beautiful. No, just thanks for um, thanks for joining. Thanks for having me on the 
on Delhi Capital's page. Um, like I said, it's, uh, it's obviously not a great time for the world at the moment, um, but hopefully we all stick together and we do the right thing over the next next coming months and we can um, get back to normal as soon as possible. Um, and I'm looking forward to hopefully being in India soon and, and getting part of this uh, Delhi franchise and, and winning a trophy for the IPL. All right, then. Uh, good night, Dave. Good night, Marcus. Thanks for the entertainment. <laughs> and we'll speak soon. Good night, guys. Thank you. See ya. Thank you.